grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses it is your boy terrible one star gotta break it down to my virgo sun moon rising north node and venus now this is a disclaimer this is a general reading take it as it resonate if it resonates for you hit that like comment subscribe and share button now hey look if it didn't i try to do the best that i can now virgo the title of this one virgo is your angels see the foul play now they coming in for justice okay again your angels see the foul play now they coming in for justice, okay? So Virgo, with that basically being said, I feel like right now you are making some type of decision or you have prayed on something that God or, uh, I, I can't say it like that, where you have you have came up on something where your angels of the universe has started to see some type of foul play, some type of manipulation, or somebody was trying to treat you in quarterly, no matter whatever the preference is for you, somebody or the energy was not trying to be fair enough to give you the accolades, to give you the value that you, res uh, that you deserve, okay, Virgo? Now, with that basically being said, be smart, Virgo. Uh, don't act out of rage or don't act out of anger at this time, okay, Virgo? No matter what the situation is, uh, you may have been finding out some secrets or illusions have been revealed, or some type of truth hurt, uh, maybe you've been out of a situation dealing with a job, or, or it could be a relationship. But don't panic, okay? Now, it's time for you to be more analytical and be more wise on your actions and decisions that you are making going towards your future, okay? Now, some of you may need to pull back on some type of energy and start to let things play out okay like even though you the one who seek justice you the one you the type to like to pop off at the top but virgo this ain't the time to pop off this the time for you to chill and remain humble because what's going on is you still trying to be diligent you still trying to be in your spiritual aspect but people still fail to realize just because you walk in that light don't mean you used to walk in that light since birth okay but virgo i feel like right now you are going through adversities you are going through a lot of foul play energy with people being deceptive with people trying to win at all costs, but you still riding in your lane. You still in your own mode to get yourself pushing forward, okay, Virgo? But don't panic. The universe is seeing how people are acting towards you, and now it's time for you to stand up for yourself, and don't be a general, uh, gen, uh, gen, a genuine risk a uh, genuine risk within yourself or a general risk towards your future, okay, Virgo? Now, instead... Don't be blind by the confusion that you may see or may have doubts about the actions that you need to take to avoid maybe some type of tower moment, uh, uh, unsudden event like Virgo you, uh, or anything that's coming towards you. Now, Virgo, I feel like some of you have been down this road before uh, when it comes to jobs. This is strongly with career and this is strongly dealing with a uh, relationship. You have been down this road before where you start to see things is starting to come into play off of patterns or um, things you have been through in your life. You have been more experienced to see it coming, to, uh, coming from a mile away. So Virgo, cross your T's and dot your I's. What they basically mean, be very detailed on how you operate, okay? Now, someone may be disappointed because because they tried to keep you on some, under some type of deceit or uh, they tried to be over you and try to control over you. However, they didn't know that you already done been down this road before or you already adapted to this situation and no longer feeling hesitant on what's good for you because Virgo, you finally taking time to be more precise and be more accurate on, the, on your purpose in your life and on your journey. And this is what the angels see as well. Now, someone may, uh, you may be trying to expose someone or you may be wanting to seek the truth or clarity to someone, uh, somebody in wise counsel or somebody in that type of energy because someone is trying to put you at rock bottom, Virgo, uh, due to being afraid of your accolades, the way how you work, the way how you operate. Somebody is jealous and envious of you, but instead of giving you your flowers, they trying to put you in a grave. Uh, now you know what I'm trying to say, Virgo. They trying to, uh, take you out of a situation. They trying to, uh, how most narcissists do it. If you may be dealing with a narcissist, they get all the information. Once you get ready to expose them, they try to fire you or take you out. All right. With that basically being said, what we're going to work on today, Virgo, let's go ahead and work on brilliance. Okay. Now this will help you. In, uh, this is T-House Mudra, help you in inner life focus and radiance, uh, direct breath to the heart, chest and ribs, assist the immune system, awaken and uplift energy, bend the two index fingers, subtly touching them together, bring the thumbs together, face the upward, spread the other fingers apart and wide, hold the mudra in front of the heart, a few inches away from the body, relax the elbows downward. Okay. Now if you got heart condition, hypertension, use this mudra as caution okay but we're gonna embrace this right here i embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart i embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart okay virgo that's what we're gonna work on y'all hold on just one second some reason my light just went off oh yeah so now for all my new ones this is what we're gonna do we're gonna basically breathe in positive energy then we're gonna let out all the negative energy that's what we normally do all the time in meditation but also use the mudra as brilliance 
to help you while we do a meditation as well, Virgo. All right, we got this light together. Sorry about that, but y'all still hear me, so y'all know I'm still working. So, with that basically being said, all right, Virgo, let's pull out the bowl. And what, again, breathe in positive energy. We let out all the negatives. So here we go, Virgo. Y'all ready? All right. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding, Virgo. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns, anything that's not suitable for you. We're letting it go. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go again. Now, one more time. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and expectations. Now, hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go back to the universe in abundance of love. Ashe. Ashe, amen. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and hop up in this reading. Let's see what's, the, what's, what's going on with this energy, okay, Virgo? Let's see uh, what the angels see what's going on because I do feel like it's some manipulation energy and I feel like things are about to come to the surface. People are about to get exposed. Car they about to receive their karma if they doing any type of injustice, okay, Virgo? So with that also basically being said as well, Virgo, I feel like right now you are waiting and being hesitant about something that you are victorious on and the reason why is because you're being more experienced in your life not to just act without thinking so you're thinking before you're reacting okay virgo now with that basically being said right now i also feel like right now with the ten of swords basically being upright it's the main energy virgo you may be feeling sad about something uh maybe something dealing with your emotions being suppressed or maybe something that is at your last stand now i also see right now that you may have been pouring a lot of energy into some, uh, into something else and now since it's being revealed i feel like somebody's trying to put you at rock bottom as well thank you spirit now right now this is what we got for you, Virgo. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Now, with the Ten of Swords, new cycles, or you may be feeling like you at rock bottom. You may be feeling like you at your lowest point right now, and the reason why is because the actions you've probably been trying to take emotionally is probably not been coming to fruition, or I feel like right now it may be a lack thereof, uh, or something dealing with this new beginning or this new uh, way that you want to flow yourself. It's kind of hard for you to express yourself, but I feel like right now you being in more pursuit to take action on the actions that you need to take, but be careful with this page of wands energy, Virgo, or you could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, uh, we also got, we got all signs, just to say it like that. Now, <laughs> with that basically being said, even with the youthful energy, Virgo, just be wise on how you act. Or be wise on the way how you are moving towards your abundance, okay? Now, even though you got the staff in your hand, so that means the actions you are taking, it's in your own hand. Be smart about it. You see how he's looking diligent and being wise on the next move. So, Virgo, I feel like right now you are still having the vision to get out of this funk uh, emotionally because reason why is because even though you may feel like you at rock bottom clear but but it's being clarified by the nine of uh nine of wands upright nine of cups in reverse and we also got the justice co uh, judgment card in reverse so that is let me know even though you may feel like you at rock bottom about a certain type of situation don't feel frustrated don't feel angry don't feel bitter right now you at your last step going towards to your victory okay now not only that even though you buckling down you going through what you're going through but you at your last step virgo when it comes to us people trying to absorb your energy people that's trying to manipulate you and trying to keep you in a naive state of mind to make a some type of poor choice that you uh that they're trying to get you to make or now you are starting to realize that maybe uh somebody may be at rock bottom and their emotions are suppressed because the way how you've been acting you've been taking actions like a boss because you got that that uh that wand energy that boss type energy and even though you at your last step and it's getting frustrating yes you're feeling drained out but from the poor decision you will start to accept destiny for what it is and the reason why is virgo because even though you at your last step you're starting to move on emotionally lead towards the positive. You are no longer being self-pity. You are no longer letting nobody manipulate you uh, with your emotions so you can be out of control, okay, Virgo? And which that's what I like about it as well. So, Virgo, I feel like right now what's going on for you right now is something that is very coming into play. It's a lesson that needs to be learned off somebody for somebody off of karma, okay? Now, even though right now, yeah, 
emotionally, even though right now it's a lot of self-absorbing, you being absorbed from going over reoccurring pain cycles, or maybe a, you are being drained over something that you need to avoid, Virgo, or something that you may be avoiding, okay? Now, it could be for some of y'all, you're not standing up for yourself, or you're not uh, being uh, uh, thinking uh, intuitively about the things that is going on in your life, okay, Virgo? Also, even though you had to make a decision, even though somebody may have been trying to manipulate you with a lack of faith or anything like that, so when I also look uh, at the judgment, it may have been some type of poor judgment call that uh, somebody probably made, but now they're probably looking at both sides of the situation, or it's probably a real uh, something that has happened to you, Virgo, where you are starting to realize and, and reveal by the way how you took action and you stood your ground about somebody probably made a poor decision or making poor leadership. You start to stand the ground and look at both sides of a scenario, and then uh, you start to look at the point like, hey, it's two options that I got. I either can be in this situation because I know how you operate now, or... I can turn around and do something about it and seek for justice, okay? So let's go ahead and get a clarification, Virgo, to see what else was going on. Now, I also see right now, Virgo, even though somebody may be around you, may be very, uh, maybe smiling in your face and trying to stab you in your back. Now, but Spirit wanted me to tell you, uh, you got to let your emotions flow, Virgo. You got to let it go. So even though somebody may try to try to make you feel like you at rock bottom and suppress your energy and suppress your emotions and block you from your intuition, but you still got that willpower deep in to take action even this your last step you still going towards the last of whatever this is that you are going through to move on to something more positive okay virgo now even though you are letting your emotions flow it's time for you to go ground yourself maybe see yourself in nature or probably go outside in your backyard or go breathe some fresh air to let some of that good universe energy in to refresh you and to revive you virgo okay so now not only that oh Something big coming in for you. That car flipped out of nowhere. So I feel like right now, even though you uh somebody made some poor decisions where they had some type of uh, not imbalance, but where they were trying to breadcrumb, probably trying to give you little while they taking the whole loaf. With this car right here, something big coming in for you. Okay, Virgo, something huge, something extraordinary. It's gonna help you foundate yourself with your stability. It's gonna help you find found uh foundate yourself or put in foundation towards your power and your emotional uh your emotional harmony as well. Spirit guys in the universe, what are some of the challenges? Now I feel like right now, Virgo, it may be challenging to ground yourself right now. And the reason why is because somebody's trying to be manipulative. Somebody's trying to get you to go out of control. Somebody uh who who's very, very good with wordplay is now trying to trying to belittle you, Virgo, emotionally, probably around certain individuals are probably trying to say they narcissistic ways. But right now, Spirit Woman to tell you, even though they're trying to do that, it's, it's challenging for you to ground because of what's going on. But there's new opportunities and new starting points is coming in for you as well, Virgo. You do got a promotion coming in. Now, uh, I also feel like right now, Virgo, it may be challenging for a time for you to ground or grounding or trying to be prosperous because of the holidays. Yes, we already know because of the holidays. That's how it normally go. But now, not only that, I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles being upright, clarified by the Tower card basically being in reverse, Virgo. We also got the Four Swords in reverse, in the uh, in reverse, and we also got the Fool card basically being upright. So it's letting me know you may be having issues grounding to being prosperous because it's something that's trying to come your way. But I feel like you're smart enough and you avoid maybe some type of unexpected un uh, event, or maybe something or someone is going through finally got to understand that karma is coming in for them because Virgo, uh, even though it's challenging they trying to keep you on the go they trying to get you up under their spell but once you started taking time out for yourself because i feel like some of you not and some of y'all started to be more positive and hope on and take their genuine leap of faith virgo and the reason why is once you take their leap of faith spirit is going to send you on a spiritual voyage right now you are starting to healing yourself by being communicative some of you probably had to do this and this was a lesson that you had to learn in your life that you are starting to illuminate yourself you are starting to open up your heart you are starting to open up to say what you feel and some people don't like that. Like some, it, it looked like uh, if you was with a lover, a lover was getting all this money up out of you. They was getting all the love, all the praise, all the glory. They were getting all of that. But then again, when it came to you, they weren't giving it to you. So now you call them out on their BS and you call them out on their stuff. And now they like, nah, Virgo, it ain't nothing like that because now you wise enough. It's just an analogy. Or you may be at work or, so, uh, or something like that. And that type, let's say a friend. It may be a friend that you're working with and then you turn around, Virgo, you done helped them do everything, but then they taking all credibility for it and then like, F Virgo. You see what I'm saying? But even though you are grounding and going through what you're going through, you're avoiding a tower moment right now, 
Virgo, and you're avoiding some type of unexpected event because you are smart enough to be analytical and be perceptive on having the issues through trying to ground, trying to be prosperous. Now, Virgo, right now, even though you got to take a time out, because right now, the more you are working, the more you're not seeing that you're really not happy or something that you may not be loving to do right now, okay? Now, even though with the four swords, you may be stamping down or stepping down on surrendering yourself when it comes to losing happiness or losing friendships or somebody wants you to lose this because right now they are going in a tower moment as well. So even though they're going in a tower moment as well, there's some type of competition that they may be going through dealing with you, Virgo. Now they're trying to take the time out to receive their own happiness, but with this naive type of energy, they're trying to take a slow process. However, with you, they're trying to get you to rush, Virgo, so you won't see what's going on behind the scene. With, and, but you got to take that genuine leap of faith and continue to prosper yourself towards your destiny and towards what you need to go to. Your goals will be um, everything will come in for you according to. Now, the reason why you got to be optimistic and take that leap of faith because somebody is trying to protect either their, their job, they either trying to protect their ego, or they trying or they trying to protect their narcissistic abuse ways. Okay, Virgo, that's what some of y'all uh, the letter resonate as well. Okay, now not only that, let's see what else that we got for you. Spirit guys in the universe, let's clarify the tower card in reverse. Why well, is the tower card in reverse? And the reason why, Virgo, they try to, uh, you avoiding this tower moment, you being analytical because it's going towards your success, towards your wish fulfillment. And somebody's upset right now because they know if the, if the, the tower turn and they receive their karma and now it's competition between them, you're going to be the one who's going to get the blessing. You're going to be the one who, who get everything in, in, in your favor. Okay, Virgo? So, uh, success is coming in for you. Now, also, Virgo, I feel like once you start taking time out for yourself and start understanding the aspects of how people are treating you. Um, yes, it will be a little conflict arise when you stand up for yourself. However, Virgo, I do want to tell you right now, you're starting to do a give and take. You are starting to look at both sides of a scenario or maybe wherever you at, if you're in a job aspect, they're going to look at both sides of the scenario and see that you are telling the truth that you're right because right now you got to keep your emotions balanced because the person is trying to emotionally take you out of the game right now. And this is why Angel's coming in for you. Let's see what some Angel messages for for Virgo. So right now, secrets are coming. Secrets already came out to the surface. Things are starting to be uh, put in play, Virgo. So I just want to say, whatever this energy is around you, you are smarter than that, and they know that. Because right now, you're making the decision. So spirit want me to tell you, on your spiritual life, you are rooting yourself down towards your purpose by standing up for yourself, uh, by keep on doing the hard work that you're doing, outshining people, overworking people, and that, and they calling your horn, Virgo. Right now, you're standing in your king of wands energy. Right now, you still having that vision and that drive to make the right decisions. You got thick skin, Virgo. What I like to see there is the crocodile. The crocodile represents thick skin. But also, spirit guides coming in to swoop you in for this new beginning, okay? Now, you have completed the cycles, and you have done this with the, uh, if you think about the judgment card, that's 20. 20 represents the choices that you will make two times as full for your new cycles. But you got another 10 with the uh, Wheel of Fortune right there. So the wheels are turning and triple fold in your favor. So some of you may get triple fold when this promotion come in because spirits see the way how you operate. Now, when anybody who try to give you any type of betrayal or any deceit or uh, the choices that's probably been made, uh, if anybody tried to backstab you or belittle you, Virgo, now some of you dealing with a love, somebody who done tried to backstab you and been a trickster, right now you got to understand that you are taking time out and you are starting to see the bigger picture as uh, everything's rolling along. Okay, Virgo? What else do we... Mm. And even though you got to watch your mouth, Virgo, that doggone car hit me all up in the tooth. So I feel like right now somebody may be so furious they want to hit you in your mouth, Virgo. But be defensive because right now you are uh, this gap right here that you have between them because you are three steps ahead. Even though you being analytical, you being stern, you're not taking no more BS from anybody in spirit, understand it. And now they coming in to bridge that gap. And uh, once you isolate yourself, Virgo, you not isolate yourself. It's time for you to incubate and go through a, a, a healing con uh, phase. Now, Father Wands basically being in reverse. You are finding ways to get through this. You are finding the, uh, the resolution to get through, but maybe somebody's trying to cover it up, or maybe you're starting to uh, accept destiny for what it is into this new healing that you are going through as well, because you are the star that you are, okay, Virgo? Now, not only that, you that beautiful star, you turn around, uh, they know you shine in the spotlight, but now you standing up for yourself, you shining in a, even brighter. You shining bright like a diamond, okay, Virgo? So with that basically being said, now, let's go ahead and get some of these. Let's get a couple of messages. I wanna get a, let's get a healing message. What's a healing message from Virgo? Virgo, 
right now. Don't feel like you're selling out. Somebody may be selling out against you about the new opportunities that you have, but don't feel like it's anything wrong about doing what's right. Uh, you got to think about it like this, Virgo. Somebody, uh, when I see the... Uh, you got power in your tongue. Like, even though somebody done probably tried to scar in your heart, or you may feel like you be you may not be doing something right by saying something, say what makes you happy, okay, Virgo? You are not selling out on things that is not done right in justice, okay? No. If you are working hard and you doing everything you gotta do, if you loving hard and doing what you gotta do, call it out. You're not selling out. What you're doing, you're basically sowing that seed to go in fruition, Virgo. So even with the actions you are taking, don't feel like you're selling out. Do what's best for you and avoid this tower moment for somebody else put you in it. Because if you get put in a tower moment with somebody else, I promise you they're they not going to treat you accordingly the same way how, how you treat them, okay? And, and with that basically being said, Virgo, let's work on the first one is I experience joy in all areas of my life. And this raises my vibration. I say, I say. And then we're going to also work on I express myself fully as an act of self-love. I express myself fully as an act of self-love. And the last one is, Virgo, I am worthy of a wonderful life. I am worthy of a wonderful life. So with that basically being said, Virgo, this is your reading now. To top this all off, yeah, your angels see what's going on. They coming in, swooping in. They finna handle that justice. All you gotta do is just realize that you can't do it on your own. Take a time out, let your angels do it because all that all that stuff that's going on, your angels see it. They about to receive karma. That's why we don't never send it to the sender. We send it to the universe because we let the universe deal with it while we sit back and, and enjoy our everyday life on growing in a positive aspect. So with that basically being said, if you want a personal is in the description box below. Peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I love you. God love you. The universe love you. Make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel. Peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I say, I say, I'm in, baby. Yep.